Welcome back gamers to the channel today. We're playing a little bit of duos today. I got a game with a random person Today we're playing with Mr. Mukla. My opponent's playing with Sylvanas We're gonna go ahead and start off and Double check and see what our opponent's playing. He's starting off with the 1-3 dragon that gains more attack and health when it attacks We're starting off with the 4-3 uh, undead taunt with reborn pretty good Pretty good start. We got a win. Love to see it. Here I decided just to go ahead and rank up so we can go to the next tier. My teammate actually picks up the better dragon, the 541, the one that gets more stats based on what tier you are. So that's pretty good. Last game picked that up. It's a much better minion. And then here. I was debating on it, but we end up picking up the uh, Elemental with Wind Fury, and we also pick up a Patient Scout. Because, you know, maybe hopefully we'll get something crazy off of it, you know? That's kind of the, the hope. We keep it for a few turns, and then get something good. Here, the the, uh, <laughs> the Elemental actually knocks out all of them. So our teammate gets a solid three hits. We get five damage. Very nice. Here my teammate's kind of telling me he wants uh, the two three dragon that gives wind fury. So decided to go ahead and give it to him, and we're just gonna go boost up our elemental again. He's asking me if I want to uh, get the patient scout, and I think he sends it to me later. Obviously, right, patient scout isn't something that I really want, but it's okay. It's not the worst. So there we get another win. Here he sends me another patient scout, a refreshing anomaly. So now I'm gonna go ahead and play that. We can get a free spin in a second. I'm gonna go ahead and get the uh, the buddy. And here I actually pull a living Azurite, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that. And from here on out, we're just trying to trying to play some elementals, baby. I mean, elementals are cool. It's um, the type of deck where you can stay at uh, tier 3 and you can just kind of, you know, rock like that. If your uh, teammate is actually moving up in tiers, then they can focus on getting you the good stuff. And then you can worry about just playing as many tavern spells as you want to. Or as many tavern spells as you can. That's what we're going to go ahead and uh, start doing. Here we get a golden patient scout. So none of these really work great. The drag is okay. Here I decided to go ahead and fill out the board. No player bananas. And nice thing about this buddy, he actually gives more stats every time you give a minion bananas, which is pretty cool. So we're gonna be boosting up our uh, minions pretty pretty fast. Your team is actually getting pretty lucky with that uh, with that one drop dragon. That's crazy. Then here I come in. Perfect. Didn't lose a single minion. Pretty good. Here I pull the second Living Azurite. You never have too many of them. Um, I think <laughs> one of the games I had the other day, I pulled like, I think I had like two Golden Azurites or something. Here I pull a Matriarch. And I'll be honest guys, um, when you're playing with random people, you should probably sometimes just ignore them. Um, Matriarch is cool. It's just not a card that I think is great. Um, it's actually a card that I keep for far too long and it really doesn't help out uh, with the game plan I feel like so but we'll, get, we'll we'll talk about it when we get to it here we actually have a 3629 elemental which is much bigger than pretty much what everybody else has Here 
here we get another 11 damage off. And then my favorite card probably out of all the spells is probably going to be Staff. I think Staff's crazy. We pull two, <laughs> two Staffs in one turn. Uh, here we're going to pull... Here we're going to pull four spells in one turn, which is pretty good. We got the Party Elemental. Not great. And it looks like our teammate is actually really going to be playing dragons. He finally pulled the uh, the undead dragon, which is pretty cool. Good buff up our guys, but... He has not pulled the Persistent Poet yet, which is not good. Um, the dragons, I think, is one of those decks where you really do need... You know, a specific card to actually go off. And Persistent Poet is definitely that card you need. Uh, without that, I mean, you're really not buffing anything permanently, so it doesn't matter. Here we actually win. We got a 12.6% chance of winning. Uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool. And here I decide to just stay at... Uh... Actually, oh, no, this is the game where I actually move up to tier 4. That's crazy, dude. So over here, he's asking for the one that gives you uh, stats when you attack. And here, actually, I decide to taunt up the uh, Matriarch, which isn't great. She gets spells, tavern spells, every time she gets hit, which is cool. But um, he's over here telling me to freeze. Um, but, you know, obviously, uh, you know, later on in the game, 17 health, or was that, what's the other one at 10 health, I think? That's not really a lot of health. And later on in the game, she takes, like, one hit for battle and that's not really worth keeping it on the board um yeah we already got four spells that's pretty good we got the golden monkey honestly we could have taken the uh the other elemental guy but I honestly probably should have taken it. <laughs> I was kind of thinking about like trying to help my teammate a little bit, but I honestly probably didn't matter too much. <laughs> He's over here backseating one out of a spin. Oh, man. Um, yeah, one of the things I kind of figured as I played more and more of uh, this build, I guess, was that some of these spells are actually pretty good. It might be a two drop spell, but or two cost spell, but Especially like the one that steals a random minion from the uh, from this hover. I mean, that's pretty good. It's basically one drop. It's basically a one cost if you uh, sell the minion back. So here, my teammate's kind of doing something. He kills the persistent poets, which is cool. And I get two hits off, and then his teammate's actually pretty weak. We have an eighty percent chance of winning here. It's pretty good. So there I actually decide to go ahead and pass him um, one of those old dragon guys because that actually is a pretty good buff to his board. It's the biggest minion he has at this point. So um, just decided that'd be a good thing to do. Technically is a dragon, so it's pretty it's pretty cool. So this guy coming out, he does have a persistent poet. And here, we actually have a 99% chance of winning, which I think is crazy. Teammate finally pulled out the, uh, the Persistent Poe, which is pretty cool. Here we got another win, another 11 damage, and he finally gets a few buffs on his board, which is nice. Here I pull the Tavern Spell that lets me send my teammate a minion for free. 
We're gonna do that. We're gonna pull the oil, pull the banana, one other taunt. And I'm gonna go ahead and send him over another big dragon. And next turn, I send him another big dragon. Pretty cool. Pretty big, pretty big minion. Actually, I think he could have replaced his whole board with these, but uh, yeah, uh, pretty good. No, no effects, but you know, a vanilla 50-50 is pretty good when your board is like really weak. Here we get the ghost. Pretty nice. Love getting the ghost, especially late game. And here I think uh, we're nearing the end of the game. Honestly, I didn't even know. A lot of these duos game go either really fast or like really slow. That's one of the games where I felt really, I felt really fast. I, I wasn't even sure we were in top two, which is, you know, I should probably pay attention to that. I just really wasn't, I really wasn't looking at that. I was kind of more worried about not getting outpaced. This is one of those decks where, you know, you have some pretty good minions. You know, you get some nice buffs, but later on in the game, obviously, um, these buffs aren't as good later on in the game. It's not nearly as good, especially when uh, your opponents have higher quality minions than you. Here we're able to take out one of the taunts. And we have here a 50% chance to win, 20% chance to tie. Am I gonna say it was all because of that minion I sent my uh, my teammate? Yes, I'm gonna say that. <laughs> but yeah, we got a first place, pretty nice. Been ranking up a little bit, so yeah. See you guys later.